Heidi ho this is Fangirl. And just a quick warning before I start talking too much. This video will be talking about spoilers. I don't have any actual footage of the spoilers, because, you know, the Mario movie isn't out on, you know, DVD or anything yet. Does anyone even use DVDs anymore? Who knows? But, yeah, spoiler warning, because I'm going to be talking about scenes I liked. Two, if you go to see the Mario movie in theaters, it has two end credit scenes. So don't leave after the first one or you're going to miss out on content. With that out of the way, let's get the video started. So even though I do have a lot of positive things to say, let's start with the negatives. My boy, they did Luigi bad. Like, he is a very likable character in the movie and such, but he kind of feels very underused. I mean, he has plenty of screen time, but that's just mostly being a captive. Which isn't really the best screen time. I do love Girl Boss Peach, though. That is pretty awesome. Two. The movie feels like it's a bit rushed when you get to the middle chunk of it. Like, the first chunk and the end chunk, the pacing is pretty good. But then you get to the middle and it just feels like, we're gonna pogo stick between two different C... Scenes in two different areas a bunch of times, which you've probably seen that in movies and stuff, but like normally it's like a short segment, not like most of the film. It kind of feels like game cutscenes in a way, like with, I'm getting vibes back to the Ratchet and Clank movie, where it was kind where normally a game has like gameplay, cutscene, gameplay, cutscene. And there's some cutscenes that can flow easily without gameplay, but these felt like cutscenes that like. Hey, you fought through some gameplay, here's a cutscene of the story going forward as a reward or something. These felt like those, but you took out the gameplay. <laughs> like, you ever watch those, like, all cutscenes video, but it's one of those games and it just feels awkward, and then you just look up an entire playthrough of that game? It felt like that. Also, speaking of timing, the Mario movie is very short. It is barely an hour, compared to, like, other cinema, which can go up to two hours. I mean, it's a good barely an hour, but still, when you're the only one who went to go watch the Mario movie, and all the rest of your family in the theater went to go see Air Jordan, and you're waiting an extra 45 minutes in the lobby with unlimited refillable slushies, and you have no self-control because you are a greedy, greedy sugar hog, you end up tasting... Everything tastes like blue. Just so much. But enough about me. I also... Yeah, well, this has been everywhere, but... Eh, Chris Pr Pratt tried really hard, but... Eh, he was not Mario for me. It was still enjoyable to see Mario on screen. Like, that's one of my positives. The animation is stellar. And very bouncy and fun. Except for that one dog, it just it just gets the uncanny valley feeling, you know? With how cinematic everything was and how the middle felt like cutscenes, maybe Nintendo would have been better for getting Illuminations to make like a cinematic themed game, like a special edition game. Like they did like there's a moment in the movie where it shows like Peach coming through the warp pipe when she's really, really young and getting taken in by the toads and then she becomes princess. Since this was looked over by Miyamoto and them, does that mean that's canon? Is that canon? Did the same thing happen to Daisy? Who knows? But let's get on to the positive things. There are a few, quite a few scenes that I like. How it uh, switches from, like, when you think Bowser's gonna be like, to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom, and it goes to fairy tale wedding, and it's all the other Koopas are like, huh? You're just like, yeah, that just got me, you know? Also, the peaches, peaches, peaches. Yes. Blackjack was amazing as Bowser. They should give him a lot more singing props. Just so much. I feel like the Mario movie is great for fans because it's got tons of references and you can hear cinematic versions of a lot of other pieces that you'd hear. It's like they made a Mario Galaxy version of a bunch of other t classic tunes. 
Although, I feel like if you're not a fan, it can be a bit of a... Mm, you're missing out on a lot of stuff that you could be. But Mario does have a very large fan base, so... I could be wrong. All in all, I'd give it like a 7.5. Like, I am a huge Mario fan, and it was really fun, and everything was just really great. But I'm also an animation and movie nerd. So I also have to base the criteria on that as well. Like, you saw how great they did with the Sonic movie and the Sonic movie 2. Like, we gotta hold ourselves to higher standards, people. We're not going back to Ratchet and Clank, the movie. Or the Mega Man movie live-action version from, like, the 1990s. No. But, uh, if you're looking for other Mario content that's, like, similar, that I was hoping the Mario movie would turn out, uh, there is a comic done by Dogman SP on DeviantArt called Super Brothers. Mwah! Chef's Kiss. It's actually got a comic dub by, uh, Team Noki Noki. I'll uh, put the names on screen just in case I pronounce them weird so you can look them up. They're on YouTube. And I guess that's everything. So, have a lovely evening. I'll